She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Action! <laughs> you know, sometimes people come up to me and they say, Caleb, are you stupid or something? <laughs> uh, yes? Now come on, let's go be stupid together and have a bad time with Super Mario 64 DS. It's not often that a video game can stay relevant for over 25 years after its release, but Super Mario 64 is very much alive and kicking. The game is notable for revolutionizing the transition from 2D to 3D or whatever. You see, we can pretend to care about that information, but let's just call it how it is. Super Mario 64 is an amazing platformer that stands the test of time. And if you don't think that's true, then I really don't care. Now let's fast forward just a little bit. You see, it's common to want to share a game with the next generation of players. So in 2004, with the launch of the Nintendo DS, a new wave of gamers got to experience Super Mario 64 DS. A remake of Super Mario 64, but it's Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo DS. Got it? So let's flash back a little bit to like, Christmas of 2000 something, I don't know. I was surprised to get a nice, bright, shiny Nintendo DS. It was the silver one, and it wasn't something that I was expecting to get under the tree at all. That was really cool. I really quickly grew to love that DS, and then like a couple years later, I think I sold it because I'm an ungrateful piece of garbage, and I regretted it until I, you know, I started seriously collecting again. So I had to get another DS somehow, right? So. That Christmas, as a sixth grader, I asked my parents for three things. I asked them for this exact, very beautiful Nintendo 2DS. And then I asked for, wait, hold on. I asked, oh, it's right in the middle. Okay, I got it. Ah, nice, you see that? No damage. I asked for Lego City Undercover, The Chase Begins, because I had a Lego phase when I was little. It's not really a phase. I would go back and collect Lego if I had the space, but you know, whatever. And, of course, I asked for Super Mario 64 DS, because I was absolutely infatuated with the idea of Super Mario 64 and the Nintendo 64, so I figured the next best thing has got to be the DS version, right? I can take it wherever I want. I can be on the go playing Super Mario 64. Isn't that awesome? It was pretty cool. So anyways, it was these three things that Christmas of 2013, I think, that really cemented who I would be for years to come. Whoops. So the opinion on Super Mario 64 DS is actually pretty mixed, but it's definitely one of the better remakes out there for sure. While I prefer the original game, I'd still encourage people to play this version for the all-new content. Getting to play as Yoshi, Luigi, Waluigi, and Wario is super awesome. I mean, it felt like there was no limit here. In addition to characters, the DS version also had an extra 30 power stars to collect, enhanced graphics, new controls, and mini games. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. So like I said, I was in this just for the idea, you know, of Super Mario 64. I wanted the main game and nothing else. So it, with that, I like never even bothered to play the mini games. I mean, I saw the mini games advertised here on the back of the box. And uh, I couldn't have cared less. I just wanted those power stars. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call on my cellular device. Hello? Okay. So getting, oh God. 
So getting the mini games is pretty easy. There are these rabbits scattered around Peach's castle and each character, except Waluigi for some reason, unlocks a new mini game every time a rabbit is caught. So as much as I wanted to just jump in and play some mini games, duty calls and I have to actually unlock all the mini games. Doing that right now. Woohoo, look at Mips depressed. I caught him. Only like a couple hundred more to go. Okay, so it might not be that simple. Some stars are easier to obtain than others. For instance, all of Yoshi's rabbits are in the courtyard, but someone like Luigi requires you to have all 150 power stars to use the courtyard's cannon to launch yourself to the top of Peach's castle. So, did I go out of my way to 100% complete this game? Well, I don't know, keep watching. So the plan was to get all 150 power stars and shoot my way up to the top of the castle to get that last rabbit or the last minigame that I need. But this d-pad is really testing my patience. Don't ask how I got up here, but I got up there. I'm there with 98 power stars. You don't gotta worry about it. Hello, welcome to Caleb's Casino Paradise. God, I can't breathe in this thing. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Caleb's Casino Paradise, where we have quite the selection of gaming to boost your uh, gambling and uh, fuel your gambling addiction. Nothing we do better than fuel gambling addictions here at Caleb's Casino Resort, whatever I just said. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna play some Super Mario 64 DS mini games and gamble our life away. Play ball! Um, Caleb, actually, uh, you're not playing ball, you're playing a Nintendo DS. <laughs> wow, who invited the f***ing home monitor, huh? Okay, so here's the deal. We're gonna play each game, each mini game, one by one, and, uh, that's it. Wow, I sure hope you can see me and everything is... I hope this works. I hope this works, okay? Sorry for doing it this way, but I want it to be authentic, okay? I like authenticity. Uh, I'm not gonna do the E word and, you know, have have the fuzz all over me, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get. Okay, let's see what I missed out on as a kid. Uh, I'm lying when I said that I didn't... I haven't played a single minigame. I have played... Uh, the... Oh, I started it on accident. I guess we're starting here. Luigi. There you are. Come on, man. My eyes are too good. My eyes are too good. Uh... Uh... Oh, there you are. Where is he? Dude, come on. Right there. I can't... Well, if you're covering him, then I can't touch him. But Luigi... Dude, come on, you gotta challenge me a little bit more game. What is this, a game for seven-year-olds? Dude, he was right there. Oh my god, I have four seconds. I have nine seconds for the next guy. It's all right, I'm about to clutch the biggest comeback in the world. Oh my god, Mario, uh, Mario is your pretty eyes? Oh, there you are. Oh, one second, buzzer beater. What? Okay, rules. Puzzle panel. Match the touchscreen picture with the top screen. Touch a panel and turn over the surrounding panels. Harder levels will take more turns to solve. Okay, cool. How am I supposed to click one thing and then match all panels? Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, there we go. Hey, that's that 3.8 GPA. That's that 3.7 GPA. I try to boost my stats, but I felt guilty. I don't get it. How is this different? Is this just the skin? Am I just going to get a whole ton of skins after this? Ah, you see, it's not even fair. Oh, you got to think strategically for the future. You see, and then now we can, oh, now we can, I just screwed up. What if I draw like a, this? All right, let's just see what happens if I just draw much more. Cause this is what it's gonna end up being towards the end of the game anyway. I don't often beg of you to do such uh, tasks, but tell me, did you actually play these games as a kid? Were you interested in these games as a kid? Because even then, I remember thinking, oh man, these are just like some kind of boring novelty. And uh, even though I barely even touched them. 
and let's start this. And uh, so far, I'm right. I've had genuine fun with like three of these. I'm an excellent sorter. Stop. They're coming faster. I'm getting a little scared. I'm getting a little nervous, but I'm still cool as a cucumber. So long as my DS stylus remains to be responsive, I am as good as you've ever seen me. I've been playing Choo Choo Rocket. I can keep up with this high level. I got zero coins. This is my whole life savings right here. It depends on this. The future of my family bloodline rests in this moment. Mushroom star. Ah, that's already one dollar and down. Okay, mushroom, mushroom. Flower. <laughs> There's no flower. This one. Flower, flower. Okay. Cloud, cloud. Oh, please. Give me my money back, Luigi. I won. Did I win more money? <sighs> yeah! Six bucks. Okay, we're down three dollars again. Okay. Oh my god, okay, I gotta... Uh, I gotta stress. This is some serious stuff. This is some serious biz. Alright, another Luigi game. Another way to get my money taken away from me. Pick the one with more stars to win coins. Beat Luigi at his own game. Ah, okay, look, you gotta understand. I don't go gambling. I don't go to casinos or slots or anything like that. Uh, I'm blind. Is this what happens? Is this the kind of stuff that happens? You just get depressed and, but a little hopeful? All right, Luigi, which one's it gonna be? Which one's it gonna be, huh? Which one's it gonna be? It's gonna be that one. Yeah, that's right, big boy. I won. Give me my money back. Rule number five of gambling. Don't get a false sense of hope. You see, I'm only gonna bet a, a humble two coins and I'm probably gonna get it wrong. You see what I mean? Hey, I can't tell the future, but, I, but I'm, I'm a smart boy. Look, now I'm gonna bet the house again, and I'm gonna get it right. They want, they want me to stick around, you see? Because they're making money off of me, either way. Uh, Daddy needs a new, um, ill bleed for the Dreamcast. Uh, I'm not getting ill bleed for the Dreamcast with this kind of poverty money. Ah! Uh, why? 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 Okay, final nine. I'm not messing around here. Dude, I'm freaking out. Something just touched me. Something crawled on me, I swear. I don't see anything on the floor that would have been crawling on me. Unless it went down my shirt. <laughs> I'm scared. Because I felt something. I went like this and I felt something on my hand. Ah, I don't like it. Okay. Just gonna pretend that that didn't happen. Okay, watch the penguin, watch the penguin, watch the rocks, watch the rocks. I got nine seconds to just run through this whole course. Man, this game is boring anyway. The controls aren't even good. Get out of the way! I'm bigger than the I'm bigger than the track! Ow! Okay. That was it. What a way to end. Huh. I feel ripped off. Wow, so I guess I really didn't miss much from when I was 12 playing Super Mario 64 for the first, uh, Super Mario 64 DS for the first time. Those mini games weren't even very good. I think I had the most fun playing Luigi's mini games, and the rest I, honest to God, cannot remember. I don't know. I don't know. People really have nostalgia for this. I guess I guess I was wrong in only playing uh, Super Mario 64 DS just for the main game. So I hope you enjoyed Caleb's magical fun time casino royale paradise. Did you have fun? Did I fuel your gambling addiction? I think I started my own gambling addiction with that. That's all right. I think I quit. I think I quit Caleb's Magical Casino Fun Time Paradise. I'll be seeing you soon next time. Maybe not in Caleb's Magical Fun Time Casino Resort extravaganza, but 
maybe we'll do something else next time. And you can come along with me. Uh, get out of here. Don't smoke the casino. No, don't smoke the deck of cards. All right. Bye. Love you. Kisses. Bye. Get away from me. Actually, don't touch me. Bye.